lesson. Hello guys and you're welcome. So in this section, we're going to begin coding our uh, user interface. So, but to do that, we're going to be using Tkinter's uh, file dialog to load files. And I'll quickly show you how you can actually uh, use Tkinter.file dialog. So first, we're going to uh, run our shell and save from Tkinter. So we're going to import file dialog. So now that we've imported file dialog, let's print the directory. So we're going to say print dir file dialog. So now that we've seen the directory for file dialog, if we look down at the button, we can see ask directory, ask open file and ask open file name. So let's print out the help for ask open file name. So I'm just going to say print help and I'm going to say file dialog dot ask open file name. So it says help on function ask open file name in module to enter dot file dialog and ask for a file name to open. So with this function, we can actually create our audio application to go through files so it can actually cascade through those files and get the name of a file we want to open. We can also check the extension of the file if it don't, ends with an mp3 file so we can actually run that. Another uh, position where I would like to, uh, you can find information about Tkinter is to go to the location where uh, Python is installed and then let's go to the uh, lib and let's search for Tkinter and if we open up file dialog, let's right click and say uh, edit with idle, we can open up this file dialog folder so we can see more uh, file dialog options. So this is from the class file dialogs and it's being used to have access to uh, files. So you can actually go ahead and read up on these uh, dialog files so to see more functions. And in, uh, you can also check out common dialog and dialog because dialog is also uh, inheriting from these uh, classes. So with that said, let's go ahead and start building the user interface for our application. So first, let's just go ahead and create a heading and just say mini audio player. Now our audio player is going to be simple audio player. It's just going to play MP3 files. It's not going to be complain complicated file formats, and it's not going to be a fully fledged MP3 player. So we're just going to load a file and we're going to play that file just to test and see what we can do. You can decide to make the program complicated later on, but for now, we're just trying to keep it simple. So first we're going to import uh, Tekinta. Enter, and we saw based on our UI design, we're going to be using a button and some list box. So let's say take enter from take enter import. So we're going to import our button. We're going to use a list box. We're going to use a TTK and we're going to use file dialog. So these are the classes, the Kinter classes we're going to be importing because we're going to be using them. Another class we're going to be importing is Pygame and also we're going to use the OS module to actually get the file path. So what we're going to do next is just to create our uh, root window and set that instance. So our root is going to be equal to and uh, let's import to Kinter as an alias because it's common to see Tkinter being imported as an alias. And let's set that to the TK class. So now we have our object where we can have access to uh, all TK uh, classes. So the next thing we're going to do is to actually build our root windows. So, uh, sorry, not build our root windows. Let's build our uh, widgets that we're going to be using to uh, have access. So first, let's create our uh, list box because we're going to be using our list box to uh, load those files. So I'm just going to see LST underscore BX for my list box. Now we're going to see TK does list box. And we're going to set the uh, parent window to the root window. And our background, let's set that to light blue. And our foreground, let's set our foreground to black. Like that. And let's set our font to... Uh, Helvetica, which is my favorite font. You can actually set it to any font you want. And the font size, let's set it to 12. And let's just go ahead and pack our list box. So LST underscore BX dot pack. And we're just going to fill it on the X axis. So I'm just going to say fill equals TK dot capital X. If you use a smaller X, you're going to get an uh, error. 
So next thing we're going to do are to create our buttons. So this is a uh, hashtag. Okay, good. So we use the uh, pound hashtag for our comments. Sorry guys, my mouse is uh, acting up. So uh, buttons, let's create a stop, play and a uh, pause uh, button. So let's say a uh, button underscore play. So this is going to be a TTK bot dot uh, button. Our parent window is going to be our root window. And the text is going to be set to our uh, play. All right. So now that we've created our play button, let's go ahead and create our uh, stop and our pause button. So what we're going to do is just quickly grab this. So we can actually uh, save a few of that seconds. So we're going to create our support stop button. So STP and our text is going to be stop. So next we're going to create our pause. And our button is going to be our pause. So now that we have these three buttons, let's go ahead and uh, pack these uh, buttons. So our button underscore play. So let me just say a button underscore play dot pack and simply, uh, oops, uh, that's going to be pack and simply I'm going to fill this on the x axis. So tk dot x and now we have our play dot pack. Let's just go ahead and create that for our uh, for our stop our pause and our play buttons All right so we have play stop and pause we also have play stop and pause and also what we're going to be doing is to actually bind these buttons and just right here where we're packing let's go ahead and just say pack so make our code, you know, super uh, readable. So for the binding, let's just say button underscore play dot bind. And we're going to bind that to the uh, left click. So I'm just going to create these. Sorry, they're supposed to be in a quote like that. So I'm going to bind that to the left click. And then we're going to pass in the uh, function. So let's pass in that function called play. We haven't created this function yet, but we're actually going to go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and copy this and place that. So let's do that for the stop button. And we're just going to say a stop. And finally, let's just do that again for our pause button. And we're just going to say a pause right here. And this is going to be button underscore pause. And this is also going to be a button underscore stop. So we have play, stop, and pause. So right off the bat, let's just go ahead and create our empty placeholders for our uh, functions. So just right here after our root window. So let's just say uh, functions. So let's have a dev play is going to be an empty one so let's just say pass so our function for stop which is actually going to be an empty function for now and also our function for pause which is also going to be an empty function so let's pass in the pass keyword and what we're going to do right now to complete our UI design is to actually uh, compile the uh, root window so now we're just going to say, uh, so let's say if name underscore underscore name double underscores is equal to underscore underscore main underscore underscore. That means if we're running the script directly, let's go ahead and set our title. So let's say root dot title. Let's call this uh, L player. 
Let's also set our geometry. So for the geometry, let's set it to our 520 by, let's say, 290. I've actually uh, predetermined what size I'm going to be using ahead. So uh, let's set the root dot the icon bitmap. Now the icon bitmap is actually called music and it's in our root folder. So let's just call it music.ico and let's just run our main loop. So let's say root dot main loop like that. So let's go ahead and save and run. And it says a uh, TTK uh, button is not defined. As I said TTKK, it's supposed to be a TTK. So just where I have a uh, TKK, I'm just going to change that to TTK. Sorry, guys. TTK. I'm also going to set this to TTK and also TTK. And let's just go ahead and run that and see. So now we have this, but it says that uh, pause is not defined. That's because we actually created pause with a lower case when we we're binding. But our function right here is a capital P. So let's just go ahead and fix that P. So that's a, a typographical error. And okay, yeah, we have this window. So in our next lesson, we're going to be adding more functionality to these buttons and see how we can actually load a file and play that file. Once again, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next lesson.